Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Pune based DRDO scientist was arrested on 3rd May 2023 on espionage charges has shared sensitive details about India's missile drone and robotics program with a female Pakistan based intelligence operative. The DRDO scientist was director of research and development at DRDO when he shared this information with the Pakistan operative. In his chat, he revealed to Pakistani women operative that DIDO is developing the Agni-6 missile and its test is planned in some time. I don't know whether to be happy or sad about this news. The alarming part is the amount and criticality of the information shared by DIDO scientists related to Agni-6 missile. However, the good part is that India is progressing well towards development of Agni-6 missile which belongs to long-range intercontinental nuclear ballistic missile. Unlike Agni-5, Agni-6 is going to be a four-stage rocket. It will have two unique features, a range of more than 10,000 km and MIRV capability. As per few sources, Agni-6 missile is likely to carry up to 10 MIRV warheads and will have a strike range of 12,000 km. However, DRDO has refused to confirm on missile range. The huge range of this missile makes its absolute necessity for India as it will be capable of hitting farthest corner of China from a safer and survival distance within the Indian territory. As per few reports, the missile design is complete and its hardware is under fabrication. There won't be much information available about this program and India prefers to be tight-lipped regarding Agni-6. But unofficially, Agni-6 project is on track and India has already developed many critical technologies required for this missile and partially these technologies have been demonstrated as well. Now as per various media reports also, India could test or at least ready the Agni-6 missile as technology demonstrator in the coming three years and validate the computer simulations. The new generation Agni-6 missile will be sleeker, easily transportable and would be readily deployable. It will have the capability to be launched from submarine as well as from the land-based launchers. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.